Alright guys, even here with another video. In this video we're gonna do a little comparison video. So we're gonna compare Sean Rodden, our current Mr. Olympia champion, versus Cedric McMillan, who is probably the most aesthetic bodybuilder, top bodybuilder, and also one of the bodybuilders with the biggest fan base. He really does have a lot of fans, people love this guy. Probably because of his personality, he really does have something unique about himself and he does make these incredible motivational speeches. He's not like your ordinary bodybuilder, he's not like Sean Roden. He doesn't say stuff that everybody keeps saying, he's not boring, he's a very interesting guy. And also his body is speaking for itself, I mean he has amazing aesthetics, amazing lines, very, very old school. So for that reason I, I love him as well, I mean I'm about his height so I'm trying to, to achieve similar physique in the future, we'll see if that's gonna be possible, probably not, but I'm gonna give my best, not my best, I'm gonna tr not try to kill myself <laughs> in order to achieve that, but if it happens, it happens, that's something I would love to see. Anyways, uh, let's compare these two guys and let's see what are the chances of Cedric McMillan actually winning 2019 Mr. Olympia. Is that really a possibility? Because most people would actually like to see that. Everybody keeps saying, if Cedric brings conditioning, if he comes peeled, if he comes dry, he can beat everybody, he can beat Phil Heath and so on. But Phil Heath is now not here, neither is Kai. And the other guys are all, you know, here and there. Sometimes they're on, sometimes they're off. Anything can happen. This is going to be one of the most, ex actually, the most exciting Mr. Olympia in the past decade. Anything can happen. So, uh, the door is wide open still. We don't have established champion. Sean Roden can come off once again. He is old. He can come worse. Anything is possible. So, let's see. Let's start with this first pose that we have here. And that's going to be side triceps and here as you can see the first thing that pops to my eyes and most certainly it does to yours as well and that is actually the the, the triceps <laughs> the triceps are like it looks like you took all the mass from uh, sean's triceps and put them on uh, cedric's <laughs> it's like he stole everything from him because there is nothing on uh, Sean's arm pretty much just one little small line like a pencil and there you have a huge junk of meat on uh, on Cedric's arm so triceps are not even something we should joke about I mean it's just light and 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 what is the opposite of light light and night and day and light and I don't know dark anyways <laughs> let's go with uh, the shoulders now and I think Cedric's shoulders look more defined, more prominent as well. Um, here you can see the biceps a little bit. And again, I mean, Cedric has very good arms. His biceps are not the best biceps ever, but still they do look better than those of Sean Roden. And chest. Cedric and one of my, uh, I wouldn't say fans because I don't think I do have any fans, but one of the people who watches my videos commented that Cedric has the biggest chest uh, of today, Sarah. Like, not from, the, not from the 80s and 90s, maybe those guys like Arnold had better chest, but right now he has probably the best chest in the game. And that's something that makes old school physique, so I don't think Sean is coming near, nowhere near his chest development, So for, especially from this pose. Cedric chest just looks extraordinary, it looks beautiful, it looks very, very big and developed. I love this, love the, the sweep that has the, the flow of it and the, the, the drop, I mean it just you know, has a lot of mass on it, and I love to see that, this kind of chest. What about the core, the, the, the stomach, the abs? In some poses, Sean may look better a little bit, but in, not in this one, not in this one. This one goes to Cedric again, I mean, it looks just perfect. What else can you ask for in this kind of pose? It's just, you know, perfection. But if you go downstairs, and yeah, Cedric is taller guy, so he's gonna be bigger than, than Sean, a lot bigger. But the only thing that I don't like here is his glutes. He didn't even flex them. He just, you know, pressed his right leg and tried to show a lot of his mass on his uh, hamstrings and uh, quads, but he didn't flex glutes like Sean did. So he can be knocked for that. I mean, we can see a lot more details on Sean's glutes, even from this pose. So for that reason, he may, you know, be considered a loser in this pose, in this comparison, but still, overall, I would give it to Cedric. I mean, simply because of all the things that I just mentioned, and it doesn't really make sense to lose this kind of pose because of your glutes. I mean, to lose side triceps because your glutes are not peeled enough. 
doesn't really make sense, but you can, I don't know what you guys think, but I give this pose to Cedric. Yes, absolutely. So we can proceed to the next pose. Before we continue, just want to say this is not a real life comparison. Obviously, this is Cedric McMillan from Arnold Classic Australia, and this is Sean Run from Mr. Olympia. And uh, also, I want to say that it just comes down to conditioning, probably. I mean, on the day. Um, who knows how are these guys gonna look? I mean, they can come off, they can come on. But we can judge only by their last showing. And, you know, the old saying, you are only as good as your last show or something like that. But you get the point. So that's what we can see here and that's what we can look and judge. I mean, it's gonna be, it's gonna be boring if you don't do this. If you're gonna be like, well, who knows what's gonna happen. Maybe he's gonna be off, maybe he's gonna be on, blah, blah, blah. We can't really do that. We can just have fun by looking at what we can look at and so let's do this and let's go with this next pose uh, front double bicep and this is not my favorite pose of Cedric I mean his legs are looking great and his with taper is also awesome but not much else his biceps are not the best biceps sure he does have great arms big arms but the biceps are not as good as his triceps his triceps are humongous but his biceps are a bit weak and his stomach in this pose is not looking good. I mean, if he manages to learn how to do vacuum, or can he do vacuum? I'm not sure. But if he could, I think that would be better because in this pose, he's kind of expanding his chest and his rib cage a lot and not doing vacuum. So his abs are not flexed, not contracted, and it doesn't look... No, it, it's not vacuum, it's not flexed abs. So it's something in between. It doesn't look good, you know? So I don't like to see that. And uh, as far as legs... It's basically very, very hard to beat Sean in legs. Sean has very, very good legs, but in this in this case here, it's pretty close. I mean, I may even give it to, to Cedric because of the details. I don't know it's the matter of lighting or whatever, but I can see some deeper striations, deeper separations, and basically better conditioning on Cedric's legs. So, but the overall flow, I just give this one to Sean. Let's be honest. I mean, no matter how big of a fan I am of Cedric, I need to be objective with this one. And I give this one to, to Sean. Okay, let's go with the next one. And that's gonna be front lat spread. So the first thing that I see here that I really, really like on Cedric's physique is chest, once again, one of the best developed chest of today's era, like this guy that commented on my previous video said his name is Mose. I hope you're watching, brother. Thank you very much for the support. And um, so, aside from chest, you can also notice humongous arms. He is destroying Sean in that department. I mean, just look at the biceps, look at the triceps, the, the, the forearms, and also the lats. Pretty much whole upper body is dominated by uh, Cedric. I mean, he is destroying him here. He's annihilating him, absolutely. With the mass, with the proportions, with development, with everything, pretty much. Maybe not conditioning, maybe Sean has a tiny bit better conditioning, but let's hope for the best. Let's hope Cedric comes on and brings insane conditioning this upcoming Mr. Olympia. And also the stomach. Sean's stomach is too long and he has some kind of bloating in the lower part of his abdomen. It could be hernia, I have no idea, but it just doesn't look that good. Although Cedric's stomach is, you know, more flat, shorter, you know, it's, it's definitely better. So I would go with Cedric all day long with the upper body and lower body. It's very close. I can't really say who wins it. I mean, it's, it's very close. Maybe Sean's inner part and overall roundness and mass. You know, maybe he is better in that area. But as far as conditioning and sharpness, you know, the small details and all that kind of stuff, I give this also to Cedric. So it's close. It's very, very close. I mean, let's go. It's it's tied with the legs. Maybe a little bit better by 5% for, for Sean. But upper body is completely, completely won by Cedric. Cedric is nailing in this one. So we may proceed to the next pose. And so we come to the side chest pose. And what do we see here? Well, it's called side chest. So the first thing that you can see is chest, but actually, Sean is doing great in this one. So it's not like he's dwarfed in chest department. He's pretty close, as far as I can see. And uh, the next thing that you can see is arms. So yeah, Cedric has amazing genetics. His arms are so freaking full. Look at the triceps, they're just popping like insane. I just love how this looks. It's so old school, so proportional, perfect, perfect arms. The triceps are insane, the biceps are there, brachialis is visible, 
So he's nailing him in that department. Definitely his arms are, you know, humiliating Sean pretty much. And as far as legs, I have to give it to Sean because of the details in the glutes. I mean, that's just about the conditioning. And also the quads. Same thing, you know, a lot more details. He's definitely way, way more peeled. So, you know, it's just sad that I have to do it and give this pose to Sean. Because I'm just so sorry because of these beautiful arms and beautiful flow that Cedric has. But the conditioning is the name of the game, guys. At this level. I mean, these all, all of these guys are very, very good developed. Some more, some less, as you can see. But, you know, it all comes to conditioning with the due date. And we'll see what Cedric does. Hopefully he doesn't fail as these past few years. Hopefully he's going to bring great conditioning. And if he does that, he may just win. But as far as we can see it right now, I give this pose to Sean. Let's proceed to the next pose. And yeah, that's going to be abs and thighs. So what do we see here? So it's called abs and thighs. And nobody pretty much beats Sean in this pose. I mean, his abs are... Very, very good. They show a lot of details all the way, you know, from serratus to the lower and upper abs. It's just very, very sharp and developed. So his upper body in this case is much, much better. Also, his arms are looking kind of fuller and bigger for some reason. I'm not sure why. And I know his arms are, you know, smaller than Cedric's, but in this angle, they, they look bigger. Also, his chest is showing better definition and also the lats are kind of more... Uh, I don't know, I wouldn't say more popping, but they look more polished. So I have to be realistic and I need to say that Sean is winning this pose as far as upper body. But let's go now with the legs and the lower body. And this is a very, very good pose for Cedric because he can, uh, you know, put one leg in front of the other and that makes his legs look very, very good. And maybe he's showing actually better conditioning, best, better definition, better details. So it's kind of close. But, you know, it's Sean's legs. He has amazing legs. So, I mean, there is probably more feathers on Sean's legs. And for that reason, and, you know, for the upper body's sake, I give this pose to Sean. And he's pretty much unbeatable in this pose. He's probably uh, the best uh, absent eyes since, I don't know, 2010. Or even before that. I don't know. Can you think of any better uh, absent eyes in the open class? I mean, top five, top six. If you can think of anything, let me know in the comment section below. I honestly can't think of any better absent eyes right now. Anyways, let's go with most muscular now. So what do we see here? What do we see here? And here we see that Cedric is destroying this pose. So, I mean, look at the fullness of his chest. Look at the arms. Just compare the arms to, the, to those of Sean Roden. It's just night and day, right? Also, the abs kind of look better on Cedric in this pose. In the front double bicep and uh, abs and thighs, they don't look that good. But in this pose, they look very, very good, very cut, very, very prominent. And uh, also the, the legs. The legs are showing kind of better details. So I give this pose to Cedric and I don't really need to analyze it much further. But you can just see that it just flows much better. The conditioning is there. Okay, to be honest, maybe it's a bit better lighting. Uh, with uh, Cedric and maybe it's a bit better qu uh, quality photo, but it's from the same website, mostmascular.com, and uh, you can see that uh, it's close. Conditioning is not that far behind on Cedric. Maybe Sean is showing a bit better definitions through shoulders and chest, but because of the overall flow of the physique, I have to give this one to Cedric. I have to do it. Sorry, guys, if you are Sean's fans, but I just need to do it. I mean, because it just looks more proper. If you look at Cedric, it just looks more impressive, far more impressive. Let's proceed to the next pose. And as you can see, that's back lat spread. So as you can see, there are so many more details on Cedric's back. He definitely, definitely, most, most certainly has better back than Sean. Uh, the development of the latissimus dorsi, of spinal erectors, of trapezius, of rhomboids, of, of, of actually everything from this side. The triceps as well. Look at the mass of those triceps. So the whole upper body needs to go to Cedric. He's just much better. And also the conditioning. You can see a lot of veins and striations through the, through the traps. Also through the uh, spinal erectors and lats as well. Look at the, the, those lines on the lats. 
uh, let's be honest, he is absolutely destroying him in the back department. Sean is not known for the great back. He is known for conditioning and completeness and consistency and that kind of stuff, but not for the best developed back. And as they say, shows are won from the back. And no, that does not mean that you're going to win the show just because you have a great back. But if everything is close, they're going to look at the back. And now let's look at the rest of the body here. So let's look at the hamstrings first before we look at the glutes. And you can see that uh, Cedric has better straighted uh, ha hamstrings. It's just a matter of genetics at this point. Uh, Sean doesn't have the best uh, lines for some reason. He is conditioned, but he doesn't show that kind of development. Maybe he's just not developed, maybe just a matter of genetics. I don't know, but I find uh, Cedric's hamstrings way more impressive. What about the glutes though? Well, I'd say that Cedric has genetically better glutes. They're kind of very, very long. They go pretty much to the half of his hamstrings. They're so low attached, and I love to see that. But he didn't not he did not bring best conditioning this time around. And Sean did that. That's why he won Mr. Olympia. So you can see that uh, you know he is just showing a lot more details, a lot more hardness. Uh, in his uh, glutes, so for that reason he may win this this whole pose, but no, no, I mean that's not a big argument, let's be real, I mean look at the back, look at the hamstrings, he cannot ignore uh, anything else just because of the glutes, and you know, I just give this pose to Sedge, definitely, I think Big Sed is winning by far in this one. So let's go with this last, the final pose of the day, and that's gonna be probably the most important uh, pose, alongside with uh, front uh, double bicep, this is back double bicep, and let's see what do we have here. So we definitely see Sean wearing a tongue, I would say that it's barely, his, uh, his trunks are pretty much invisible, but you know, that's okay, he's just showing everything that he can show, showing his strengths, and he definitely does have them, he was peeled to the bone. He's not known for great back, but if you look at the flow and the symmetry and the conditioning, you just, you know, have to be impressed by this pose. And this is Mr. Olympia winning uh, physique. So if you look at the, if you look at Cedric's back, you can see that it's, I don't know, he's not maybe doing the best variation of this pose. He's kind of leaning forward too much. Maybe if he leaned backwards a little bit more, it would look better. I mean, in 2016, when he was second at Arnold Classic Ohio against Kai Green, he really brought an amazing conditioning. I was really amazed. I watched that con competition live stream, of course, and I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed what Cedric brought that year. And if he can bring something like that, maybe a few percents uh, less, you know, actually more conditioned, he can actually beat uh, Sean Norton. But like this, no, I don't think that's going to happen. I mean, the first thing that pops to everybody's eyes is their glutes. I mean, Sean's glutes are like stone, pretty much, carved out of marble. They just look as sharp as it gets. And uh, also the, the back, I mean, the lower back and everything, I mean, the upper back, anything. So, I mean, this pose is also won by Sean. And uh, after seeing all this, you can say that uh, Cedric is winning in many poses. He definitely does have a lot of strength to his physique. And if he pulls everything together perfectly, if he comes in perfect conditioning, he doesn't really have to bring any body parts up, he doesn't really need to improve, for example, the size of his legs or anything. His physique is perfect as it is. That's a perfect flow, perfect symmetry, proportions, everything, I just love it. If he just brings insane conditioning, if he comes sharp as a razor, he's gonna, he's gonna take this, Mr. Olympia. Unless some of the other guys improve crazy and bring something completely insane. So. It's gonna be definitely one of the most exciting Mr. Olympias for a long, long time. And if you are a younger generation, if you are not like 30 plus, you are gonna enjoy this because I mean, since I started watching bodybuilding since I don't know, maybe 2010 or 11, it was it was actually feel heat and feel heat every year. So <laughs> you can imagine me watching Mr. Olympia and every time the same winner. So I, it wasn't very exciting for me. So that's why I like to watch the old school Mr. Olympias. And for that reason, I'm really looking forward to this Mr. Olympia because it's going to be exciting. There is like six guys that can take it, maybe even more than six. So we'll see what happens, guys. If you think that I'm right, tell me in the comment section, what do you think? Why am I right? And if you think I'm wrong, tell me why you think I'm wrong. Any kind of comment is appreciated, really. I mean, any kind of constructive comment. It can be negative, it can be positive, but it shouldn't be something like... Uh, 
Shut up, you Russian accent idiot. You have no idea about bodybuilding and something like that. So that's something I do not appreciate. But any other comments are awesome. And I want to say thank you so much, guys, for the comments I saw so far were amazing. We're building a great community. So that's going to do it for this video. If you enjoyed it, like the video. If you want to see more, subscribe if you haven't already. And if you really, really want to help me out, it would be so amazing if you could share this video on social networks, on your Facebook or Instagram, or just send it to some of your friends. It doesn't matter. It would be really, really helpful. So once again, thank you so, so much, people. Have a great day. Bye-bye.